I suppose my highlight of the 2014 championship was the quarter final, All Ireland quarter final against Clare. Uh, we it was a, one of the hardest days I'd say any of the 30 players out there ever experienced. We had uh, horrendous conditions. We had we drew at half time, and thank God we came out winners at the end. But between hailstorms and sunshine and downpours and everything, it was just so hard and conditions and everything. And Claire were so good; it was nip and tuck the whole way. And we showed great heart that day. We know we came back a couple of points down and turned around, and got a goal. And you know, Claire were, were excellent. They never they never went away from us. And um, I suppose with the weather and the conditions and everything, it's something that'll and the win it'll always stay in my memory anyway. I suppose to represent my uh, county with, with Galway, it's uh, pride and um, passion, I suppose. I absolutely love the game. Um, I love Camogie and Galway, playing part of Camogie for Galway is just a fantastic um, to be a part of. They're a, a fantastic bunch of women. Our management are, are unreal. Um, we're just a real together panel and team and we just we bond and it, it brings out the best in everyone, I think. Ailish O'Reilly would be the main player we would look out for in our in our. Uh, championship this year because uh, she's very young. She's she's an outstanding camogie player and basketball player, but she's uh, she's unbelievable in the corner there, and she has also Molly Dunn beside her, and the two of them actually work very very well together, hand in hand, and um, she's lightning fast. I I don't like to be marking her myself, not mind any other cornerback or fullback. You've got them the likes of Denise Gall, you know, Breach Corkery. You have you have there's huge players in there. Like there's no, as I say, in, in every team there's no real wink link anymore, and you just have to kind of, you know, accept who you're playing, not concentrating on it too much, trying to focus on the ball, and hopefully, you know, full back you can't really, you can't let them really inside you as much. But um, yeah, uh, probably I'd say the likes of Denise Gall and Breach Corkery would be definitely one of the top, top two anyway. The player I look up to mostly would be Trace Maher. She's retired now, but she was there when I was starting my Komogi career and she was an outstanding, outstanding player. Like she had the heart, she had the determination, you know, she she never, ever gave up and she always fought for the ball. She was a team player. She always brought, I suppose she was huge for me because at trainings and everything, when I was younger, she brought me into it. She gave me confidence. She, you know, would bring me to the drills with her along, along with Anne-Marie Hayes. They were absolutely fantastic players for me anyway and they, they definitely improved me in confidence-wise anyway.